So, I'm gonna say that Shenmue is one of my most favorite game series of all time. From its Asian mysticism, its martial arts, its epic storyline, its likable characters, and it just has this ability to make you feel like you're on a real life journey. So we meet again. But when I found out that they were making an anime on it, my first thought was how. For one, it's not the most action packed game. It even takes a few hours before you even see the first few moments of combat. And a lot of the game, I'm gonna say, involves you walking around and just asking for directions. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? They hang out at bars! They always start street fights when they're drunk, you know! But for me, Shenmue has always been more than just a game. It's an experience. It really does make you feel like you're in this world on a real life journey. And I think it does this because it mimics some of the tedious things you do in real life. Like waiting for a shop to open or drinking soda from a vending machine. How about a cola? Playing arcade games. Space Harrier, 100 yen a game. And of course, working a forklifting job. Which I was pleasantly surprised that the anime did acknowledge. Bring that one over here. Sure. But you can't really make a show just based on those things, because no one's going to watch it. About sailors. And that's not to say that the game didn't have a lot of cinematic moments. And it actually did those moments really well when you watch them, some of the cutscenes. And that is mainly what this anime focuses on, and it's probably the only way that this could have been done. <laughs> so Shenmue the Animation is a Crunchyroll Adult Swim exclusive action anime based on the video game series of Shenmue. Shenmue The Animation, next Saturday at midnight. It was developed by Telecom Animation Film. The story in the anime follows the plot of the first two games in the Shenmue series, and somehow it manages to squeeze these two big games into 13 20 minute episodes. From the moment that Ryu's father is killed all the way up to Guilin. And they definitely do end up skipping over a lot that was in the game, and it never really takes a moment to just relax and breathe. And I think because of that, we lose out on the emotion that the game had. For example, in the first game, right after Ryu's father dies, the game is actually very gloomy and bleak, and you really do feel him grieving. You see this in the music, he takes time to pray for his father, and in the anime, you really don't see any of that. There's no time for grieving, it's just straight to revenge. And I think the anime could have been better if it just took a moment to just give some emotion to some of these moments. But if you're in a situation where you have to squeeze both of these games into 13 episodes, I think they did do the best job they could have done. Each episode just goes from one action sequence to the next, and I think the benefit to that is it never was boring. Like this could have been a really boring anime if it just followed the game. And even though it skipped a lot, I was surprised to see that they did add stuff that wasn't in the game, and it gave some more depth to certain characters that we didn't really get to know too much about in the game, and I really appreciated that. For example, Ryu and Nozomi's relationship in this is explored much better here than in the game where Ryu just came off kind of as standoffish. I want to talk to you about something. Can we meet? No. At Sakura Gaoka Park? I'll be waiting. Rip. Also, we get some backstory to the character of Joy, which is pretty interesting. Also. I couldn't help but feel that the anime was hinting towards Master Tao's brother being Lan Di. And I feel like it hinted this much stronger than it did in the game. And it makes me wonder if they do plan on going somewhere with this, 
especially considering that it is essentially a fan theory. What I think this anime succeeds at the most is it gives newcomers a chance to experience Shenmue for the first time without all the tedious gameplay and let's face it, Shenmue is a game that's definitely not for everyone. But here the anime is able to appeal to a much wider audience and even spark some new interests and new fans. The question is though, are we going to get a season 2 of this show, which would probably cover Shenmue 3, and possibly beyond that. This really could be our only chance to see the full story of Shenmue. And me, as a longtime fan, I think I'd be okay with that. Having seen some franchises never end, like with Berserk, that was a tragedy, I definitely don't want to see that happen again, and not to Shenmue. So, I think that while Yu Suzuki is still around, I think telling us this full story from start to finish in an anime form with excellent animation is a good option. And if this anime does create more fans, then maybe give us Shenmue 4, but make it better this time. I really do think that this anime is a good thing, and it's great to see Shenmue relevant again. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if this was your first time experiencing Shenmue, you've never played the games, you've just seen the anime, then just please leave a comment on your thoughts. I'm curious how someone would view this anime having not played the games. Thank you.